Hi, we must be living in a simulation because I think <laughs> I just willed this into existence. Uh, little Huxley was just saying, like, just earlier this week, that he would like a jukebox. And look what just turned up in the dumpster. Seriously, at the very bottom of the dumpster, by the way, um, here's a photo I was just going to uh, snap it. I was coming back from the gym and I thought, oh, I was, you know, walking past the dumpster room. Oh, I thought I'd just, you know, check in for a quick uh, recon. And uh, there were filing cabinets in there and all sorts of other stuff. And I thought, oh, I'll have a peek at the bins look empty. But I had a peek in there and um, sure enough, saw this thing down the bottom, a Sony jukeboxy type speaker. It's absolutely huge. It's enormous. Um, and I believe it's a current model worth about uh, 500 bucks. And um, it's got, you know, disco-y party lights and, and all sorts of things. It's got near field comms. It's got Bluetooth. And it seems to be like a current Sony model. So, um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Found this thing at the bottom of the dumpster. And luckily, it's got these really nice handles on it that uh, normally uh, trying to get something like this out of the dumpster I you know, physically have to bend myself over the top of the dumpster with my stomach just on the edge uh, and then lifting something like this is very awkward out but yeah it had had these very um, handy handles otherwise I might have had to actually jump uh, feet first into the dumpster but so tons of stuff I find in the dumpster room um, you know usually if it's electronic stuff like this they usually like leave it on the floor looks in yeah it's got dust all over it so maybe someone had it in storage or uh, you know something like that I don't know but I I can't believe they'd throw out something working like this um, like a fairly modern product it still looks uh, you know like a current model so I'm probably I don't know, 75, 80% sure there's something wrong with this? Because I can't believe that they'd, uh, you know, just throw out this working. I mean, you know, it's bad enough throwing it out instead of, like, just putting it on Gumtree and uh, listing it for free. It'd be gone in five minutes, right? Somebody will come and pick it up and take it away if you just, you know, if you don't need it anymore. But if you're going to put it in the dumpster room, at least have the common courtesy to, like, put it on the floor and put a note on it um, saying working. You know, and then somebody will take it away. Once again, it'll be gone. It'll be snapped up by somebody in the dumpster room. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, I was lucky I didn't leave it there. Otherwise, it would have been just covered with garbage bags on top uh, by the end of the day, I think, and never would have seen it. Anyway, um, I think I'm going to turn it on before I take it apart and uh, see if it actually works. So what it's actually got, it's got uh, an NFC here, so you can uh, hook your phone up to it. It's got Bluetooth, it's got controls on the front. Um, this is a big volume knob, I really like that, and DJ control as well. Um, and equalizer, flanger, these are like party sound modes, isolator, bass, bazooka, <laughs> phaser, pan, uh, and it's got all these fancy light up LED Lights, apparently, MP3, uh, Bluetooth, all the, the works. And you saw the uh, front panel USB before. It's, it's got an FM tuner built in, so it's got antenna and uh, line in, of course. And uh, model number uh, GTK X1BT, uh, 110 watts. It says it actually has uh, 500 watts. So, yeah, that's not 500 watts uh, <laughs> RMS. That's PMPO, peak music power output, uh, for those 1980s aficionados. All right, let's plug it in. No bang. Uh, where's the power button? Power? Yeah, the Bluetooth light is flashing. Yeah, the lights are coming on. There's lights on the, on the back of the handles here. Um, on the back side, they're lighting up different colors. So it's at least power supply at least works. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, yeah, the uh, speakers are lit up. Probably see the LED, yeah. They've got uh, LEDs on here which light up the cones. These are apparently like uh, mica infused cones or something. It's got, you know, wank wank um, stuff. It looks like uh, the uh, tweeters here are just a paper cone one, but yeah, these are mica cone woofers or something. You can barely see that, but there's actually a screen in there. There you go, Bluetooth audio. Wow, that's um, really, really hard to see. But I guess, you know, it's designed to be used in a disco environment, low light, I guess. Um, so, yeah, it, it, the power supply seems to be working. I think this thing's going to work. Unless there's, like, something wrong with the power amp is blowing or something. Because the main power supply and the electronics work. Oh, it just beeped. I'm doing the NFC thing. If that pairs it or what. I don't know, these newfangled things. 
There you go, pairing request, yep. Pair, yep, there it is, paired. So I've pulled the numbers from my energy bills for the last, last four quarters and that's all we But need. it works! Are you kidding me? Consuming and exporting at the energy bill. That sounds bang on. And then I've yeah. got another figure here. It's got different modes. I don't know. I'd have to RTFM. But yeah, it works. Somebody threw out this like 500 buck um, modern model Sony. Oh, I'm stunned. Yeah, sorry. Um, no repair video. Um, I was seriously, I was put in 75 to 80%. Uh, chance that this was not going to work. They put this in the bottom of the dumpster. Seriously, where is the common decency? They knew that, unless it's intermittent, who knows? Could be an intermittent thing, but this is just insane. Wow, I won't play music on because I'll get like copyright struck or something. I, I'm, I'm stunned. Um, a quick two minute teardown, maybe? Gonna point my Rode NT55 mic uh, towards the speaker here and I'm gonna play it. And this is from one of my videos. Yeah, so not quite. So only about half a year could we be uh, actually grid independent. So assuming that a battery system can roughly... So there you go. You can see that that actually sounds fantastic. Um, this is actually, <laughs> sound like a speech wise, sounds like a really good speak, uh, speaker. I read some reviews on this um, and it's, you know, people were talking about, oh, it doesn't distort, you turn it right up and it really high volume music and stuff. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty great. Um, I did actually check and technically it is a discontinued product, but still that's no reason to throw it out. It's still got all the bells and whistles. You saw it, it's got NFC and Bluetooth and uh, USB and mp3 and everything else um built into it and it's in pretty good nick i think it'll clean up quite well there's not many it's a bit dusty but there's not many scratches on it and because this is a big beast it calls for my comically big screwdriver every lab must have one trust me i do enjoy using this look how long it is <laughs> it's longer than my arm uh, i was wondering why it wasn't coming off some sneaky screw in the side there there's some uh, skid marks on the side here so it's not pristine, but ah, uh, oh, that'll buff out. Yeah, uh, looks like you have to get the rubber feet off too. There's screws deep under there. Yeah, you can't just have a couple of screws on the back there. It's actually really tricky to get these screws lined up. The uh, screw heads. Um, I find that the longer one's actually easier. Aha, uh -huh. this back end might. Anyway, yeah, we got particle board. I mean, you know, it's not high end stuff here, but uh, still. It's up like a fair, it's still, it's like it's fairly solid. It weighs like, you know, 10 plus kilos or something like that. Ah, see the big switch in power supply. Oh no, it might have a couple of ports at the front. But uh, anyway, there you go. Um, this might be uh, a lot of work to get apart, actually. Huh. This rubber has to come off too. Bugger, yeah. There's a couple of screws under that as well. The top control is going to pop out. Well, this won't be a complete uh, tear down uh, because I don't really want to take the whole thing apart. It's just a, a few minutes. I'll show you uh, some key things. That's the uh, that big volume DJ uh, jog wheel thing. So there's a big rotary uh, encoder in here. These are all, this is just the front panel uh, button board. And then we've got the, all the ribbon cables. They were taped down. A bit of that's coming off. Nice attention to detail with the ferrite bead there. There's our uh, Bluetooth antenna down there. Dummy Bluetooth uh, printed wiring board. Do not throw. <laughs> okay, I won't throw it. <laughs> do not throw it out. Um, yeah, because it's, it. I don't know, what does it do? Just holds it down? Yeah, nice. And we've got some more boards in there and LCD. You see the LCD board right down in there. I'm not, definitely not going to take that apart further. This is part of the uh, these are part of the RGB LEDs on the back side of the handles um, here. So they sort of like just diffusely light up uh, the, you know, the, the handle uh, mount on there, um, as well as uh, the ones that bounce off the uh, speaker cone on the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get those off, but uh, yeah, this looks like a sealed enclosure. It might be uh, front uh, ported though. And here you go. I was able to get the top off and you can see two cans there. So... Yeah, they are, looks kind of physically separate, so obviously uh, power supply 
And uh, that'd be the power amp, would it? Well, there you go. That's it. Is that our power amp? Uh, that'd be a Class D jobby. It looks like uh, one of those one of those surface mount ones. Um, supposedly 500 watts in quote marks, you know, peak music power output. Um, you know, it'd be, it's not like a Class A or Class AB. It's like going to be like a Class D uh, switching jobby. But So that's uh, like the main processor thingy. It's probably driving that LCD. Um, well, it's, you know, it's all part of that. Um, and uh, yeah, there's analog, there's audio in and there's audio out as well. That uh, daisy chain, you can actually daisy chain this with multiple units. I don't know how many, but uh, yeah, you can buy multiple units, put them all around your dance floor or whatever. They can all synchronize their lights and, and the music and your daisy chain them using the audio out. Um, and then we've just got uh, FM um, antenna input and uh, Bob's your uncle. So let's get the other can off and uh, see what's in there. I really like that they've put rubber sleeves over those but of course they're notorious you know in uh, 20 years time they could like just crumble away or something like that so you've got to be careful with stuff like that it's nice at the time there you go there is a fan inside the uh, power supply unit can't say i actually uh, heard it uh, operating don't know what brand that is well yep that's just the uh, power supply so yeah that's the uh, <laughs> that's all the class d um amp over there so uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's amazing. Once you go switching, like, you don't need, like, massive heat sinks and stuff like that. It's just, yeah, it's, they're really efficient. There you go. The cap is a Samson with an X. Um, so, you know, not the best thing out there. But uh, but somebody had fun with the Celastic gun on the uh, bridge rectifier. It's on the cap. It's, all the, it's on the uh, caps that flap around in the breeze. Although that's a um, Samson uh, brand. These two here, the brown jobbies, they're... Nippon Chemicons. So, yeah, they've put, um, you know, good Japanese caps in there. Anyway, that does seem to be a pretty decent power supply. Look at the common mode. And they got dual common mode chokes over there. Nice. All the X and Y class caps. They've got fuse protection. They've got everything else. It's all doing. And uh, that switching transformer looks pretty terrific. Looks like adequate heat sinking down on there on the switching transistors. And, well, yeah, that's it for the... Uh, <laughs> That's it for the power amp board. Sorry, I'm not going to take this apart any further. It just, you know, I, I don't want to get into the whole box. So sorry for all you uh, cone heads who want to see the speaker speakers inside this thing. Um, everyone wants to see the woofers. That's the main attraction, isn't it? Um, yeah, what are they? I don't know, 8-inch jobbies or something. But yeah, that's it. it actually looks it's pretty decently built. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't just come off by taking out these clips here. Uh... It looks like there's more screws in the front. You have to get all the grill off. You can actually see the tweeter down in there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I can get through there and uh, touch it. But uh, yeah, it is a uh, two-way job. Yeah, so it looks like they've got a uh, flat pack uh, folded construction on the particle board here. So it comes as like four pieces and then they've got the uh, vinyl uh, or whatever, you know, the, the melamine stuff on the um, outside, and that actually, uh, you know, they bend them all in place, and then they put uh, PVA glue in there, and they seal them all. You can see the res glue residue there. Then they seal them up. One, they just wrap it around. Um, yeah, so we're not get getting that box open. You'd have to actually... Uh, physically take the grill and then the front panel and then the uh, 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 screws holding the uh, large speakers in to actually get them out and uh, sorry not going to go to all that effort I'm going to put it back together and use this thing one last look before the lid goes back on we've got ourselves an old school cable grommet look at that Bobby Dazzler so you can see that it's uh, got some scuff marks on it and stuff like that uh, no it doesn't seem to be where it was it doesn't seem to be thrown into the uh, dumpster. It seems to be placed in there. They went to all the effort uh, to do that instead of just leaving it on the floor with a note in it. I mean, these people just, like, they have no shame at all. What is wrong with these people? So that's back together and working. I'll give it a nice clean up and look, I can... Well, I'm not going to say I can understand, but uh, okay if you think, if you've got like an ob really obsolete bit of uh, kit and you just want to get rid of it. But if, if some, even that, even in that case, if something still works, when you put something in, the, in a dumpster room like this that you know people are frequent, you know, everyone knows people pick up stuff from there, um, then put a note on it, work in. 
and then somebody will take it. I did this uh, just the other month. I had like one of those micro uh, little hi-fi things, you know, one of those little tiny uh, things as surplus to requirements. It didn't need it anymore. I was cleaning out the bunker. And so I put a sticker on it, work in. I put it in the dumpster room instead of putting it on Gumtree. I can understand the, the bit of hassle there. But um, yeah, so I put it in the dumpster room. By the end of the day, it was gone and it wasn't the garbage people who took it. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not the only person taking stuff for the dumpster room. And for those who uh, wonder what the hell kind of magical dumpster uh, room I've got, well, this is a dumpster room that serves multiple commercial buildings in a commercial office park. I'm talking like probably uh, like a hundred plus companies, um, you know, like some really like high end uh, companies. So some really high end people uh, sort of work in the building and uh, complex and business park that I'm in. So they like, but still, you've got to go to the dumpster room, which is a pretty horrid place to go, and then, uh, like, place it in the dumpster. You went to all that effort. Um, and, what, you couldn't snap a photo on your shoe phone and whack it on Gumtree, which is a local uh, thing here to sell uh, secondhand stuff. It's owned by eBay. They bought them out donkeys years ago. And you couldn't be asked to do that. Somebody would pick it up in five minutes. Heck, you'd even get put 50 bucks on it. Somebody would still pick it up in five minutes. Like, uh, maybe, maybe... There's some like uh, like long-term intermittent thing, some sort of thermal thing at high volume. I don't know. I'll have to uh, take it home tonight and have a have a play with it. There's no way anyone could think this is obsolete and no one's gonna want gonna want it. It's got Bluetooth. It's got MP3, USB. It's got uh, NFC uh, connection to your shoe phone and everything else. Like it, I don't know how long it's been discontinued, um, but you know it can't be that long. It's a perfectly fine bit of kit. Yeah, these people have just no shame. Absolutely no shame whatsoever. Like, uh, they're, they're just, how incredibly dumb do you have to be to take it down to the dumpster room? Not even put a note on it. Unbelievable. Anyway, I um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, I was hoping for a repair on this because I didn't believe somebody would toss this out. Like, when I first got it, I thought, oh, it's just one of those, um, you know, subwoofer things. I didn't notice that it was a, you know, a complete... Um, you know, amplifier and, and party doodad thing. Oh, and by the way, yes, I think there has been a slowing of stuff in the dumpster. Uh, computers seem to be few and far uh, between these days. This, like, happened after COVID, so maybe people are hoarding their stuff a bit better, not throwing them out. I expected a lot of stuff to be thrown out with the work from home thing, but no, I guess everyone took all their, all their stuff from the office home, and um, yeah, but nah, it seems to, have, seemed to have thinned out. I don't know, are people getting a little bit more? sensible but come on throwing this out unbelievable oh by the way um huxley did actually want a jukebox um like an old school uh jukebox and i thought this would actually be a like can anyone like leave in comments down below please if you know how to like you know if you got like if there's plans available to like do the cabinetry or whatever to make something more jukes jukeboxy i mean you know you could hook a tablet up to this or what you know you could have like a a tablet as a modern interface screen for it and you can run the spotify's or whatever you know um but yeah leave it in the comments down below if you've got any like good ideas for how to can because he wants like a retro looking jukebox he's a bit obsessed with uh, those at the moment and he wants one so i was going to build one but uh, this like it's just like a few days later turned up in a dumpster we're in a sweet simulation i swear um i it, this thing just magically appeared it's unbelievable a lot of people don't believe that i find this stuff in the dumpster it's, it's genuinely there it's come walking back from the gym and there it is Anyway, if you enjoy the dumpster diving videos, please give it a big thumbs up and as always, discuss down below. Catch you next time.